name is Doug Barber. I work for the Convention and Visitors Bureau. I'm in charge of special events and I'm the film liaison for our community. Rivers and Spires is a festival about uh, heritage, it's about history, it's about the arts, it's about honoring our community and its heroes. Rivers and Spires started as um, an event that was a reopening of our downtown after the tornado in 1999. Uh, that took three blocks of our city and at, for its rebuilding they decided that we needed something special to be the ribbon cutting uh, and the reopening of that of our downtown. Rivers and Spires is a top spot for our city because it's internationally recognized. Um, we've won the, for the last three years the International Festival and Events Association Top Award. Uh, we've also won the Southeast Festival and Events Association Top Festival of the Year. Uh, we're one of the top 100 events in North America, and uh, the Southeast Tourism Society has made us the top 20 events in the Southeast. Well, River Spires, you're going to see uh, this year, uh, because it's our 10th year, uh, one of the attractions that you'll see on our streets are I think the, the thing that's going to be fun is that we're putting a birthday party on the streets this year because uh, being in our 10th year is a, is a remarkable landmark because many festivals do not make it that long because of the financial uh, situation or the weather or it is not supported by its publics. Uh, so we're very excited that we have 10 year history and to be so young to be recognized like we have been. I think the word free is important in that, in that scenario to make it an attraction for families uh, because a family can actually come to this event and not spend a penny and have an amazing time. Families can come to the festival and be involved in the kids zone. The kids zone itself, you could spend the whole festival time in the kids zone. Uh, it's, in, it's a full block. Uh, it's probably one of the largest kids zones that most festivals do. Uh, teens, there's things for teens to do. Uh, we'll, have, uh, we'll have several events for them. Uh, adults, there's shopping. Women love shopping. We're, we put as many marketplace events in the street. We have over 300 vendors that come and set at this event. And that means arts and crafts, that means uh, just commercial vendors, uh, just a lot of fun things. Um, this year we'll have a brew fest. That's going to be new, a new event. And um, that, that where um, the guys can come and taste craft beers from all over our state. So we're gonna have craft uh, brewers here. Uh, so that's pretty exciting. So I think there's pretty much anything that any individual in a family would wanna do that's gonna go on our streets. Entertainment options this year are, are gonna be pretty exciting. We'll have six stages of entertainment and we'll have well over 100 entertainers that are on our stages. Um, this year also we're excited to have Little Big Town with us which is, is a Grammy nominated um, band and uh, we think it's, it's exciting because of the demographics they actually bring to our city because when you look at our demographics they're 18 to 35 and that's the audience Little Big Town hits. Plus we're going to have many other um, top entertainers from the Christian artists all the way to every genre of music that you can think of it'll be on our stage. On Friday evening we're going to have Lincoln Brewster and on Saturday evening we're going to have Pure Star Movement which are uh, two top Christian uh, groups that will be on our stages. Rivers and Spires continues to be a top spot because of the diversity that we put on our street and that we are different in most festivals because every street could be a festival that stands on its own. 